Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas said to give testimony at the Capitol on his department's budget for next year. As the expiration of Title 42 looming in the background, Mayorkas is expected to give some insight also on how that could affect the border in the coming months. We'll bring all the latest from that hearing to you live later on the program. But before that, uh, Mayorkas will appear before two House committees today, which will include a review of next year's fiscal budget. Uh, congressional correspondent Kilmany Dukar joining us live. She has the latest there from the Capitol. Kilmany. Sean, Emma, good morning. Congress has the power of the person. Secretary Mayorkas is going to be requesting more than $97 billion for the department's fiscal budget next year. But with growing concern from lawmakers on both sides of the aisle over the rollback of Title 42, we can expect a lot of questions from lawmakers on what exactly DHS's plan is to prepare for the spring surge that we're going to see. Mayorkas released this written statement saying that the in, in September of 2021, DHS began planning in anticipation of the eventual lifting of the order. DHS is leading a whole of government plan to prepare and manage the projected increase of encounters of non citizens at the southwest border. He's unveiled a six point plan here, but the tough questions are going to come on Thursday with Republican. Congressman Jim Jordan of Ohio uh, asking questions of Mayorkas before the House Judiciary Committee. Uh, in addition, Congressman Jordan and other House GOP lawmakers signed a letter to Mayorkas and are planning to ask what authority they're using to release migrants, how they're enforcing terrorist threats and drugs coming across the border, and how much uh, the halting of the border wall has actually cost this administration. But in the upper chamber, there's even more problems. Senate Republicans have held the $10 billion of COVID relief funding hostage over a measure that they want to put in to keep Title 42 in place. And it does have a support from a number of vulnerable Democrats, too. The administration's decision is so obviously crazy that even a number of our Senate Democratic colleagues who have been marching in lockstep with the president for more than a year are now scrambling to make it look like they're breaking ranks. Well, I welcome our colleagues who are finally making angry noises about this border crisis. The problem is that their lockstep Democratic votes for over a year helped actually produce it. With even one Democratic vote, Republicans would be able to push that through with a simple majority. But the real challenge would be in the House, where House, uh, the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is also reportedly very unhappy with the Biden administration over its handling of Title 42. That could come into play when it comes to the Ukraine aid. A lot of legislation in jeopardy over this very tough sticking point. Yeah, that's a big one. Something we're uh, following today and tomorrow. Kilmeny Dukar joining us live at the Capitol. Kilmeny, thank you. Uh, we'll bring in uh, one of the members of the House Judiciary Committee, Wisconsin Congressman Tom Tiffany, Congressman of Wisconsin there. Uh, good to see you, Congressman. Thank you so much. Uh, if I could get your reaction there to that report. Uh, so we're going to see Mayorkas again, um, not just today, but also tomorrow as well. Uh, and, and lawmakers are going to have uh, specific questions for him on Title 42, um, on MP or remain in Mexico, uh, that, that policy as well. What are your thoughts on how Secretary Mayorkas has handled the surge at the border thus far? Well, I think all you have to do is visit the border and talk to Border Patrol, and you'll find out um, uh, what's going on there. First of all, let's be real clear. Our United States government, via the Biden administration, is now running the biggest human trafficking operation, perhaps in the history of the world. And I was just down to Yuma last week, and the head of the border uh, section down there in Yuma, he said that with title, if Title 42 goes away, he has warned the police chief of Yuma that we may have to just release people into the streets, that we're not going to be able to screen, we're not going to be able to hold them for extended periods of time, 48, 72 hours, and we're just going to dump them into the streets of Yuma. That's what's coming to America.
Talk to me about uh, what you expect today from other lawmakers. And I'll, I'll point to this, too. There was a letter from, um, from House GOP members that, that sent out um, to the secretary saying this. Uh, a quick tear here. It says, quote, your actions have willingly endangered American citizens, undermined the rule of law and our nation's sovereignty, end quote. Uh, again, just a snippet from there, that letter there from um, House Republicans. But what do you expect for... for questioning in terms of the secretary today and tomorrow. What do you want to hear? Yes, so I'll be on the panel tomorrow in judiciary. But, for example, with appropriations today, um, we've heard from Border Patrol, ICE, and others, they have said that it isn't more money that we need. We just need the authority to be able to do our job. They can't do their job currently as a result of the policies of the Biden administration. But, you know, I find it really interesting um, uh, Secretary Mayorkas just came out with his plan yesterday, 20-page plan. I had a chance to read it last night. The very first sentence says, under the Biden-Harris administration, DHS has been executing a comprehensive and deliberate strategy to secure our borders and build a safe, orderly, humane immigration system. Well, they've developed a comprehensive and deliberate strategy, but there's nothing safe about it, nothing orderly, and it certainly is not humane. Just talk to Bishop Evans, the te Texas National Guard member who gave his life in the Rio Grande River. Yeah, his body was uh, found recently again, um, and many were pushing back on several in, uh, in the administration, really not having much to say about it, only pushing back that, well, this was a member of the Texas National Guard, a member of the state, um, and not given orders by the federal government. Actually, what you just said, um, we actually have a tear of that I would like to have put up while you're reading that. Um, and this is it here and what you were talking about here. Um, and essentially, again, that 20-page plan. Uh, but it's a new border strategy. But why now, what, Congressman, in your opinion, why, why now are we hearing about this new plan? These numbers have been on the rise um, since this president took office. Um, what is prompting this, quote, unquote, new plan or this 20-page um, this 20-page um, document that is come out with this new plan. Why now? In the, in the run-up to this interview, Kilmeny said it very well that there's Senate Democrats that are starting to break ranks. The administration has to find a way to obfuscate, maybe even confuse the public out there that they want to do something about this. They know they've got a huge problem politically, and they've got to figure out a way to try to message this. And so they're going to send Mayorkas up and attempt to do that. Um, but if you read this report, it does nothing to fix our immigration problem. There is no interest in fixing the immigration problem. They view it as a, uh, as a benefit to the American people. And Secretary Mayorkas is leading the charge. This is deliberate. This is what they're attempting to do. And the American people, the message we need to deliver to them is that the harm that's coming to America, increased crime, increased drugs, increased sex trafficking, that's what's coming to America. I'll show you this from CNN uh, because it is somewhat bipartisan here. You know, many speculate, does that have to do with midterms, et cetera? But in here's just a quick tear. Swing state Democrats turn on Biden over Title 42 border decision. Um, and there are several Democrats, including uh, Congressman Cuellar, um, and it seems to be that do care about implementing some plan at the border to stop this surge here. Um, what are your thoughts? Have you spoken to other uh, other congressmen, congresswomen across the aisle um, that that do know this is a problem for the United States and it does need to be fixed, albeit Title 42 MPP or new policy? What's been true that's been going on for a number of years now is that some of the people that portray themselves as center left in the Democratic Party. Um, they're scared to death of the far left. And we've seen it. The far left, the open borders advocates, they are apocalyptic right now. They want an open border pro policy to continue. And they will beat down anyone, not just Republicans, but Democrats also, that break ranks with them. All you have to do is look at Senator Hassan in New Hampshire. She's taking a beating right now from the far left socialist wing of the party. And uh, so they're scared to death of saying anything at this point. They know it's wrong, but they won't do anything about it. And the American people suffer as a result of their inaction. 
especially the border states there, as we've spoken with residents uh, in those areas there in Texas, Arizona, et cetera. Uh, I know you'll have your chance tomorrow to ask your line of questioning. Uh, we look forward to that and hearing that as well. Congressman Tom Tiffany, thank you so much. Yeah, pleasure to join you this morning. You too. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.